वी आई टी ट्रिपल ई ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री एग्जाम इज स्केड्यूल फ्राम सेवनटीन टू ट्वेंटी थर्ड अप्रिल एंड आई कैन अंडरस्टैंड दैट वॉट यू नाउ नीड इज सम क्रूशियल लास्ट मिनट टिप्स टू प्रिपेयर वेल फॉर इट सो विदाउट एनी डिले वॉच दिस वीडियो एज वी प्रजेंट टू यू सम एक्साइटिंग टिप्स टू बेटर योर परफॉर्मेंस फ्रॉम अ वी आई टी विलोर स्टूडेंट हिमसेल्फ talking about the exam pattern so basically before i move into that it is important to realize that there are two forms of the examination for vit triple one is the mpcea and one is the bpcea coming to that uh, in one of the exams it will only be mathematics physics chemistry english and aptitude whereas the people or students who have to they are plus 2 can opt for the biology physics chemistry english aptitude exam that does not contain mathematics but again uh, it has some restrictions based on which course you can uh, pursue after you have given the examination so you do have a look on that uh, so the exams of multiple choice questions so the exam consists of multiple choice questions you have 125 questions at your disposal you have 2 hours and 30 minutes of time for answering those questions so it is split into uh, each subject so when when you're talking about the exam with mathematics you are talking about mathematics having 40 questions physics having 35 questions chemistry having 35 questions english having 5 and aptitude having 10 and when you're talking about the exam that consists of biology without mathematics biology contains 40 physics and chemistry contains 35 questions each and english contains 5 while aptitude contains 10 questions so each correct answer is awarded one mark and one of the best things about vit triple e is that there is no negative marking so you could you should ensure that you are answering all the questions that you can and you will be awarded uh, marks subsequently for each of them when it comes to the syllabus uh the syllabus is already out on the website however i'll be just repeating the uh chapters that are coming uh, moving on with the core subjects uh, starting off with physics you have the mechanics of uh, mechanics and properties of matter electrostatics current electricity and magnetic effects of electric current electromagnetic induction and alternating current optics dual nature of radiation atomic and nuclear physics and semiconductor devices and their application uh chemistry involves physical organic and inorganic chemistry analytical chemistry you have properties of chemistry of functionalized organic compounds you have organic nitrogen compounds and biomolecules and polymers when it comes to english and aptitude you have multiple choice questions uh to test the comprehension of a short passage or line of poems as it, as it is given on the website uh, aptitude is based on five topics data interpretation data sufficiency syllogism number series coding and decoding clocks calendars and directions when it comes to mathematics you have matrices and their applications trigonometry and complex numbers analytical geometry of two dimensions vector algebra analytical geometry of three dimensions differential calculus integral calculus and its applications differential equations probability distribution and discrete mathematics for the people who are going to pursue biology in the entrance examination you have you better have a hold on taxonomy cell and molecular biology reproduction genetics and evolution human health and diseases biochemistry plant psychology human psychology biotechnology and its applications and biodiversity ecology and environment so that was the exam pattern as well as the syllabus um, everyone who is present here um, and preparing for their entrance exam it is uh it's quite uh, imperative for you to know that practicing with previous years question papers will give you a lot of idea of the type of questions that you are usually asked in the exam uh, which will also help you better prepare for the examination so uh on top of that giving mock tests will help you actually understand and access your uh, preparation level it will identify your strengths and weaknesses and get you used to the exam environment so analyzing your performance and identifying the areas that you need more in- attention will be uh, successfully achieved by practicing previous year question papers and taking mock tests and this will also uh, help you to realize how exactly you can devote your time to each and every section of the paper how exactly you can time yourself you you would know how uh, 
how uh, strong are you on a particular topic how much time do you take on solving some mathematical equations or thinking about the chemistry uh, the chemistry formulae and so on so these that is this is the very very important step in this process of your preparation for vit preparation when it comes to notes and uh, last minute preparation tips uh, it it depends from person to person i'll give a few pointers of how exactly you can adopt two strategies and what best works for you so what i used to do back in the day was i used to make sticky notes out of uh, the formulas of uh, say mathematics or the chemical compounds of chemistry or the formulae of physics that go along um when it comes to notes each chapter of uh, any of the subjects that you take could contain a lot of information uh, that especially with chemistry that you may tend to forget as time passes uh, the important thing about it is uh, taking note of things that you feel over time that you're forgetting because at this point of time you're already doing a lot of mock papers and revision tests so you know that what exactly is my weak point or where exactly am i lacking so making notes of those particular topics revising them for at least say 15 to 20 minutes every day before you start your say preparation for the day or the study for the day will help you to actually keep it fresh in your mind this way you won't be stressed out in the end that i might have left a hard topic or i might have left an easy topic instead you will have you will have it all covered and all the spheres uh, will actually align uh, because when it comes to say understanding physics chemistry or mathematics it's how well you can recollect the concept because you need to the um, you need to critically think out the answer at the given point in the examination when you are when you have the shortage of time running right so notes will help you because you will be able to go back um, in your head and uh, actually go through everything which will help you be uh, you know um solve the paper quicker and with better efficiency when it comes to books and the uh, what resources they can uh, actually refer to i would suggest that uh, you have previous or question papers at your disposal uh, you have uh, your ncert books at your disposal uh, for vit triple e i would say majorly focus on your cbse ncert books because this is where the paper uh, the, there's a lot of portion of the paper that might come out of moreover when it comes to individual subjects for physics i would suggest uh, hc verma which you have been following in your plus 2 uh, definitely uh, problems in general of physics by i e irodov you have your understanding physics series by d c pandey when it comes to chemistry you have chemistry uh, as a subject that you've learned in your plus 2 is uh and for you to crack the vit triple you need to have your textbooks on your fingertips of 11th and 12th ncert textbooks for chemistry if you want to go further you can always refer to organic chemistry by op tandon and morrison boy you can uh, refer to modern approach to chemical calculations by rc mukherjee these are some useful books for chemistry uh when it comes to mathematics i would suggest higher algebra by hall and knight you can go through rd sharma definitely rd sharma and uh, you can also go through degree level differential calculus by ezas gupta so these are some of the books for these four subjects that you may refer to however uh, i would suggest that uh, when it comes to last minute preparations don't leave out any chapters that you feel are important uh, that you feel are hard for you to actually go through instead uh, try to make the notes out of them and go through the preparation tip that i gave earlier this way you can uh, you will be able to identify your strength and weaknesses and you will be able to track your progress yes definitely so when it comes to analyzing one's own performance uh fine uh firstly um, as we mentioned in the first point of the webinar itself about practice tests and mock tests now uh, over time you will see that uh, as and when you take your practice tests and your mock test you will realize that there are some areas where uh, you are not able to cope up with the time limit or you are not able to cope up with the syllabus or you are finding it tough to solve those questions what you will do eventually is go back to your textbooks go back to your worksheets go back to your workbooks and find out the solutions and uh, you will revise your topics again 
what this will do is will give you better marks in your upcoming practice tests this way you will realize that you are actually improving over time coming to that the next step will be tracking your progress so when you keep track of these scores and your performances over time this will help you identify the areas where you are improving and the areas where you need to work when you review your mistakes from those papers or from your mock tests or from your uh, say questions that you get out of the guides or your textbooks you you have to take the time to review those questions you got wrong and understand why you got them wrong this will help you avoid making the same mistakes in the future it is important to realize that this is a timed uh, entrance examination so the faster and the and more efficient you are with answering your questions the better will be your rank in uh, post the examination and uh, again when i speak about rank don't get too uh, overwhelmed with it right now your focus should only be on preparation ranking and everything is very secondary uh the final thing would be to adjust your study plan so based on your performance adjusting your study plan to focus on areas where you need more improvement will involve spending more time on certain topics and that is completely fine if you're spending certain time or more amount of time on a particular topic you understand that that topic is something that you need to spend time on because it's different for everyone someone might find the chapter easy the other person might find the chapter hard and that is completely fine so you can use different study materials to cope up or the best ways to learn say by listening reading or writing that will help you to actually get better grasp uh, your expertise in that particular uh, topic so these are some of the uh, uh, tips that i would like to give based on this question according to say what i saw in say last year's papers and the 2019 when i gave the examination uh, in physics uh, it was it was revolving around uh, optics uh, atom atomic and nuclear physics dual nature of radiation and matter uh, magnetic effects of electric current current electricity electrostatics uh, electromagnetic induction and alternating current uh, for chemistry it was uh, isomerism in organic compounds organ inorganic and organic chemistry thermodynamics chemical equilibrium and chemical kinetics um alcohols and ethers you had carbonyl compounds carboxyl acids and their derivatives and uh, organic hydrogen compounds mathematics was involved with differential calculus analytical geometry of two dimensions integral calculus and its applications vector algebra probability distributions trigonometry and complex numbers matrices and their applications uh so when it comes to biology uh i haven't i hadn't given biology exam but what i found out from the internet was uh, there were uh, subjects of reproduction genetics and evolution human health and diseases biodiversity ecology and environment plant psychology and human psychology but don't only depend on these chapters these chapters are what i figured uh, that would come and what the internet has told me about So these chapters are not only the important ones, but it is recommended to cover all the chapters in the syllabus thoroughly because the weightage of the marks given to each chapter will vary from year to year. So it's important to stay updated with the latest exam pattern, which I just mentioned, and the syllabus. Be thorough with the syllabus. For English and aptitude, um, see uh, what happens is in school, um, if if you're a CBSE student or even a state board student. If you have had English in your school, uh, you have learnt it in your plus two. You won't have a, a hard time uh, clearing the English exam. It is basically testing you on your uh, uh, grammar skills, on how you understand uh, a particular comprehension or a poem, and it's not something that you've not done till date. In many exams, you have entered and uh, given out answers for questions that uh, you know you, you have been practicing that part of your English and aptitude throughout your. uh schooling life so apart from that um, that small section don't leave it out as well i would suggest please practice for it even though you have been doing it because those crucial 15 marks will do you enormous justice at the end of the day um so the preparation for it would uh, solely rely on your mock tests uh, i think so if you do the mock tests properly if you do your uh, uh, other resources that are available at the internet for english and aptitude specifically for vit typically will will be enough for that time first of all the just keep these eight things in your head first of all find your most productive hours 
like uh, some people might be able to study or give mock tests properly at night or in the morning don't force yourself to stick to a particular time you know when you are most productive in the afternoon or in the morning at 7 am or at 8 pm in the night so find your most productive hours and do your revision do your studies during those times and this will effectively increase your chances of relaxation second find your learning style be it by watching writing or listening you know how you learn better because by 12th grade you have been through especially uh, a lot in your science stream that you know that how exactly can you learn better third keep your study space organized be it morning night or afternoon if your room and your study space is organized you will be able to focus clearly on what is in front of you fourth if your environment is uh, is perfect your mindset would be perfect and so when it comes to uh, timed examinations right you need to have your mindset focused on particular thing. for for us as uh, students or uh, even as teenagers uh, we cannot focus on a particular thing for a long period of time so make sure that you're doing that uh, and you're training yourself that in whatever number of days are left are enough trust me Fifth, as soon as uh, you know you're a student in the 21st century you have resources online ready uh, available to you at your disposal so you make sure you utilize them properly uh, especially with these 15 to 20 days left utilize them to get the most out of the uh, internet based on practice resources if you finish something you don't stop there find out another resource if you have that six will be your self analysis this is very crucial because if you don't do your self analysis after every study after every mock test or after every revision you will not know where exactly you are lacking seven uh, also spend some time doing uh, things that make you happy during your day that doesn't mean that you take one mock test and directly after that you take another mock test you will be mentally exhausted and you will also see that you are not performing well on the second mock test because it is obvious that you cannot sit for 5 hours in front of a screen and write the same things take take breaks between your mock tests give yourself some time take a breather there have some water and be disciplined about it that doesn't mean that you lack focus completely eight would be to have a clear goal uh see many of time many times what happens is we we register for a lot of entrance examinations and we kind of mess up things between our own head that uh, we don't have a clear goal what where can i give more time or which chapter or which syllabus can i give more time so you have a clear goal when you have a clear goal you are set to you know uh, do things according to that goal because if you don't not do that you get stressed and then everything goes haywire you do not want that at this stage and it's it's completely all right there is no burden or anything uh, as long as you are completing your stuff and you are achieving your day to day tasks as i said always have uh, things that uh, at, the, at the beginning of the day make a list of things that you want to do say i want to do three mock tests today and in between i will revise these chapters do that make notes of that um while you're revising those chapters as i said you uh, a possible way would be to have your sticky notes beside you and this uh, list down topics or formula that you think you might forget and have a uh, redo of them so these if you keep all these eight things in mind you will be good to go for the related or any entrance exam